This video will review the concept and mathematics behind the price elasticity of supply. The price elasticity of supply is measuring how responsive sellers are to a change in the product's price. We can think of the elasticity of supply, price elasticity of supply, as the percentage change in quantity supplied. That's what we have here in the numerator, the percentage change in quantity supplied divided by the percentage change in price. So the most basic problems you might encounter is something along these lines. You're told that the percentage change in price uh, maybe is um, 4%. So we had a 4% increase in the price of the product, and we observed, given that price increase, that sellers want to bring more to the market. How much more? Well, maybe they want to bring 5% more to the market. So a 4% increase in price led to a 5% increase in quantity supplied. What's the elasticity of supply? Well, following this basic expression here, the elasticity of supply is a percentage change in quantity supplied, so in our problem it's 5, divided by the percentage change in price, which is 4, and we get an answer of 1.25. In other words, every 1% increase in price causes sellers to bring 1.25% more of the product to the market. So this gives us, again, a measure of seller price sensitivity. So with that, let's do a, a more mathematical example. Let's say we're given a supply equation where quantity supplied equals 2 times the product's price, P, minus 10. Uh, let's go ahead and graph that equation briefly. and put quantity supply down here and the product's price up here. So that is our supply curve. And we're going to have a vertical intercept of 5. If you note, if we plug 5 into the supply equation, the quantity is 0. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and plug maybe 8 into this equation. If you plug 8 into the supply equation, you're going to get 16 minus 10, or 6. So the quantity supplied will equal 6. Uh, let's go ahead and plug in 10. Plug 10 in for price, we get 2 times 10 is 20 minus 10. Quantity supplied is just 10. And let's plug in another value here not drawn a scale, but if we plug in 30, we're going to get 2 times 30 is 60 minus 10, quantity supplied is 50. So we got three points on the supply curve, and we can calculate the elasticity of supply along any point along this curve. And we'll, what we'll do, we'll go ahead and calculate the elasticity of supply at point A, B, and C. So to calculate the elasticity of supply, if you're given an equation like this, we can do a little bit of calculus. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take the derivative of the supply equation with respect to the product's price. Okay. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to take the derivative of this linear supply equation with respect to price, and then we're going to multiply it by the price divided by the quantity. Price is just going to be the price that we're evaluating the price elasticity of demand at, and Q will be the corresponding quantity. So when you're doing the elasticity of supply, you basically need three things. Okay, you need the derivative, you need to evaluate it at some price, and quantity combination. The nice thing about uh, uh, the derivative here, even if you don't know how to take derivatives or calculus, all we're going to do here is plug in the coefficient in front of the price term. Okay, That will always be the result of the derivative of the demand equation with respect to price. It's just going to be the coefficient in front of the price term. So let's go ahead and calculate some elasticities um, at point A. The elasticity of supply at point A. We're going to take the derivative of the supply equation with respect to price. We get 2. 
we're going to multiply it by the price at point A, 8, divide it by the quantity at point A, and we're going to end up with 16 divided by 6, or 2.67. So that's the elasticity supply at point A. At point B, the elasticity supply is going to be 2 times the price and quantity at point B. So it's going to be 10 divided by 10. And we're just going to get 20 divided by 10, or 2. And finally, at point C, the elasticity of supply will be 2 the derivative of the supply equation with respect to price, multiplied by the price, divided by the quantity at point C, and we get 60 divided by 50, or 1.2. All of these values here are positive. That's what we expect for the price elasticity of supply. There is a direct relationship between the price variable and the quantity supplied variable. So we got a positively sloped supply curve. We're going to get positive elasticity of supply. You'll notice in this problem all the elasticities of supply exceed 1. In that case, this is an example of elastic supply. Elastic supply occurs when the elasticity of supply um, is greater than one and we certainly have that in all three examples. Okay, let me do another example, slightly different equation. In this equation, let's say that the quantity supplied just equals 4p. Okay. Uh, we could go ahead and graph this if we wanted to, but in the interest of time I won't do that. Let's calculate the price elasticity of, of, of supply um, say when P equals 4. Okay, when P equals 4, that implies that Q equals, well, 4 times 4 is 16. Okay, just plugging this into the supply equation. When P is 4, the quantity supplied, our Q term in our elasticity supply formula is 16. So as we did before, we're going to take the derivative of the supply equation with respect to price multiply it by the ratio of price to quantity and we're going to get the following so the derivative here the first thing we need is just the parameter coefficient on the price term that's 4 multiplying it by price of 4 dividing it by the quantity of 16 we get 16 over 16 or 1 okay unit elastic supply okay this would be unit elastic Uh, we could try uh, calculating uh, the elasticity of supply at a different price quantity combination. Let's say P equals 10. When price equals 10, quantity supplied equals 40. The elasticity supply in this case is still 1. 40 divided by 40, uh, we just get, just get 1. Okay. So again, unit elastic. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.